joined by Rolls-Royce CTO Grazia Vitadini. How are you, Grazia? Very well, thank you. It's great being here. Thank you for coming. Um, so this is a new role for you. Very exciting. Congratulations. What are you hoping to bring to Rolls-Royce? Indeed, it's, uh, it's such an honor and privilege serving Rolls-Royce as Chief Technology and Strategy Officer. So really pioneering the power that matters in leading the transition to net zero. This is one of the strategic pillars of the company with a focus on propulsion, more generically on power generation. And that's exactly where the core of the challenge is when it comes to decarbonization. And therefore, as a consequence, also there were the most impactful uh, solutions do reside. Um, now, we interviewed Rolls-Royce at the Dubai Air Show in 2021. Following on from that interview, tell us about progress with Ultrafan. Oh, yes. Well, our Ultrafan demonstrator is in full progress in Derby, and you're very welcome to come and visit us when you can. It's a fantastic demonstrator, which includes really some very advanced technologies, uh, for instance, around combustion systems, lean combustion systems, which will enable us, in addition to improved fuel efficiency, to reduce substantially also non-CO2 emissions, such as NOx, minus 40% envisage reduction on that front. Let's not forget that noise are also emissions, minus 35% noise level compared to previous trend models. So it's a really groundbreaking, groundbreaking demonstrator, which is in full progress. Thank you. I might take you up on that invitation. Very kind Thank of you. you. And, and so you mentioned noise there. Tell, tell us about some of the work you're doing around that area. So, um, again, we're talking about a portfolio of technologies. It's all around turbine and combustor design and fan design in order to make sure that we do uh, reduce uh, emissions end-to-end, -end, right? And then just consider application of these type of technologies to, um, to SAF, sustainable aviation fuel, 100% sustainable aviation fuel use. We plan to run our demonstrator on 100% uh, SAF in the course of the year. SAF per se brings efficiencies in terms of uh, combustion and also most likely in terms of emissions, particulate emissions, which uh, the first tests performed uh, on our ECLIF 3 program. So we had a A350 flying with our Trent 1000 um, engines. First tests down on ground do show that there's also a reduction in non-particulate matters with further beneficial effects all in all. And tell us about your hydrogen and hybrid electric innovations. For Rolls-Royce, indeed, innovation and uh, technology development runs uh, on different uh, pillars, right? On three pillars. Electric and hybrid electric configuration. You've certainly seen our groundbreaking and record-breaking um, spirit of innovation. So all electrical racer uh, flying, uh, which really does demonstrate at what pace uh, technologies around electrical flight are accelerating. It's not just demonstration, we're also enabling our customers to enter into service with their advanced um, air mobility solutions, vertical with a VX4, uh, entering into service by 2015. We have a partnership with Embraer on EVE, their spin-out um, urban air mobility concept. We're working on the regional segment with Technam and Vitero, all electric commuter, also enter into service in the next five years. Plus, of course, we're investing in hydro in hybrid concepts to further extend the range. And we have some demonstrators in um, in in Bristol, a flight uh, a test bed in Bristol, and we've been flying with our P2010 um, demonstrator really to test and validate the concept of parallel hybrid solutions. So this is one pillar, definitely. The other I already mentioned, and it's continuing to improve the efficiency of our gas turbines, combining them with SAF use for maximum efficiency and optimum reduction of emissions. Third, and not least, uh, hydrogen, where of course we're exploring the potential of hydrogen, both as direct combustion through our modified gas turbines and to power fuel cells, which then operate electrical motors. So we're on it and stay tuned for further developments on this front. 
That's a brilliant way to end. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks for having me.